Child abuse. She'll tell, she'll tell anything. Child <laughs> abuse. So, she's, she, so if she's lying, child she abuse. about it. But in the worst, child abuse. If, if that is These child abusers <laughs> violate. <laughs> violation. <laughs> Scum! Filth! Child abuse! Child abuse! Filth! Scum! Scum! Child abuse! Child abuse! No! 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 Because last time I spoke to you, you said that you were going to bring your paperwork to me to have a look at. That's fine. I'll meet you for coffee in town. I will do. I'll show you how corrupt this town is. Yep, but it's done to bring your dog with you. Oh, so oh, I was into the dog thing. Yeah, it's a oh, I, <laughs> I don't like the violation. Ira, hang with that. I'm going to go up and get the one. She'll take it and she'll exploit the daughter's case all over the internet. All of has been, and you think you want to do that? No. I've got some documents, proofs that the slip. Because you see that blue slip on your own, I've got up in the internet. It says your daughter touched it in a public way in the first paragraph. Uh, it's superintendent. And then it says, oh, we can't get in the way social workers involved in all this. But we can certainly give this police officer counselling. These are wishes. And at the bottom, and they consider this case closed. Your child's been abused. This is surreal. A police officer gave me a letter. But they seem to too much hassle. Don't shake Sylvia's hand. Don't uh, slap her. Don't slap her. I don't love this slap her. I don't even want to touch her. Trolls! 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 Child abuse trolls! Child abuse troll! Here we got Rachel. Maggie O'Neill. Yeah. Yes, child abuse. Why are you staying at Sylvia's? Why are you staying at Sylvia's? You can stay. No, I'm not staying here. No. Would you like to stand here and hold this lovely banner? Why not? Bring you Robert Gray. Yes. Lock him up. Go on, stand here and hold that. See, you're ignorant. Horrible. So, what are you mentally disturbing this poor lad for? What are you here for? To gloat? Are you here to gloat at Robert are being locked up, are you? No, I'm here to support Robert, but you're no. I, I hope he gets off. Do you? Aye, absolutely. I do. You're a fucking barefaced liar, you are, eh? <laughs> you are a liar. You are a liar. I hope he gets off. So what did you go do to London for? Shopping, was it? Oh yeah, we often go to London shopping. Do you? Love it. Bet you do. Did you go do it in Glasgow that Violet Club, eh? You CEOs of that company, no? So, so Robert reckons he was, he was arrested because he mentioned that. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's funny, do you? Child abuse. It's a bit like he doesn't know. Child abuse. He doesn't know. You realise it takes life sized dolls and a lot of sexual acts for you to enjoy He doesn't know why he was arrested. So, what's this? Like he didn't know. What's this about the dogs? What's this about the dogs? The man's delusion. What's this about the dogs? Yes, dogs? you and dogs. What dogs? Oh, never mind. I just heard a wee story about you and dogs. <laughs> tell us. No. Oh, oh, yeah, tell, tell me more. Tell me more. Into that more. kind of stuff, eh? Right. Enjoy your day, ladies. I'm glad you said you hope Robert gets away with it. I hope you stand up and put a letter in court for Robert saying he's such a gentleman and he's doing such a great thing. I mean, and why, why were you such good friends with Anne? Right? And when she was homeless? No, but what, what questions do you want to ask me? Why I'm doing this? My daughter was abused. They covered up my daughter's abuse. Stay the hell away from my daughter if you know what's good for you. Stay away from my daughter. I fucking swear. You hear that? Fuck this, man. You go near my daughter. You will be dead. I'm just going to go see I would like to see a kind of amnesty for everybody who's been up to these practices and to be rehabilitated and re restored into the mainstream of the human community. But within that, an idea came to me, a thought came to me, and it was amnesty, amnesty. 
Amnesty for paedophiles. Amnesty for paedophiles. Amnesty for paedophiles. Anybody that um get I don't if anybody that um gets the same on Facebook the same what do they call it? News stories links come up on your page. You know any prep the news feed sort of thing. But um there's so so much stuff being put up about the treatment of so-called hampstead whistleblowers 12 2010 a magnitude 7.0 earthquake rocked the haitian capital city port-au-prince the quake was a devastating blow to what was already the poorest nation in the western hemisphere as the death toll rose it became apparent that thousands of children had been orphaned by the disaster there are some 350,000 orphans in Haiti, and that's just an estimate. Record keeping is so bad, no one really knows. In court, Sabine McNeil, there's another woman. There is uh, Belinda McKenzie, Angela Power Disney. And I've never seen anything so stupid in my life. I'm, I want to make a comment now about this Amsterdam case, about the two children. I don't agree with the mother putting out footage of the children's police interviews because they talk so graphically and the children talking about all this so-called abuse that's happened in real, real graphic detail. And that is what paedophiles like to get off on. Super let's, sticky, let's play from the a child porn video one day. Let's play it. And I know Back it sounds be. appalling. Perfect let's again. see the reality of what these young children have to go through. Let's see the physical injuries that they endure, the fear in their eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and that's not even going Perfect. near the satanic stuff. I'm Ella Gariba, a.k.a. Draper, the mother of Alisa and Gabriel. I'm still fighting for my own children and other children's rights. This has never ceased for the last seven years. To hear a child talking about well, I don't need to say it anyway, those sort of things. Now, if they were being abused, if all these hundreds of people at the school was involved and children were being murdered, there was having to drink the blood and there was all these... Hi there, I'd just like to make a general inquiry, really. Um, I'm sure you're well aware it's Good Friday today um, and I'm just looking for some moral guidance, please. Um, I'm just wondering, are babies red meat or white meat? I'm just wondering what you're after for tea tonight, you say, um, and if you've got any guidelines of what would be the best way to eat these babies, whether it be to boil them or roast them. Um, also, because I'm, I'm a little bit thirsty, um, when we drain the blood from the babies for tea later on this evening, is it better to drink the blood while it's warm? Should I heat it up or should I wait for it to cool down? Um, if you could get back to me, please, on 0121 fucking do one, um, I'd be grateful. Bye. Hello, Mr. Rendell. I like your work. My name is allegedly Satan, and I would like to offer you a satanic sacrifice down the phone for my appreciation. This is it. I am here in Kathy's house to drink the blood of a pretty spouse. I look forward to hearing from you, Mr. Randall. Under the spell in the mainstream madness, you 
can always tell They got their tongue still planted in the rectum The BBC <laughs> Yes Left wing, right wing They're still making you sing To the same song Cause it's the same thing Don't you think it's funny Chasing all the money Instead of living With your sheep And sheep go What? Dead easy, join us It's about Melanie Shaw. We've got. Don't know what for is to the bankers' benefit, but she's to blame the poor. She died in Congress, still under Roman rule. I number for the tournament, uh, which we'll be doing probably in the second half of the show, will be available on the second. I'm just going to break the stream now because we're going to start on our march to the prison. Orgy gangbang was going off with 20 odd parents and kids and all the teachers was involved and the church in the school. You know, arrests would have been made. There would be a full on police investigation like there is with Nottingham with the abuse we suffered in the children's home because it was factual. That's why, you know, someone's just got 20 years in prison. You know, the 80s was a terrible period in, in, in the institutions in Nottingham, particularly not the foster care, but the institutions. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to read an extract from the document A. You can find the link to this document in the description box under this video. And I do urge people to please read the entire document A and understand the details of this case and why it is so important not just for my children, but for all children on earth. Lawfully suspected organized child abusers and child traffickers are apparently above the normal levels of lawful suspicion. British people ordinarily expect police to promptly act on when informed of serious crimes, which include which include serial murders of trafficked babies. According to present officially accepted narratives on the case, such crime and criminals allegedly do not exist anywhere in Britain beyond the realms of fiction and fantasy. And anyone who takes such allegations seriously, according to a UK High Court, ju high court judge, is evil and foolish. As the saying goes, the devil is in the details. And a prime feature of the suspected cover-up is a collective intent to obfuscate negligence and or crime via the confusion all such details can easily be manipulated to deliver. Fortunately, time is very telling. It has taken over seven years for the evidence to be accumulated and presented to such a degree. But these people, the, the, I mean, the, the, the mother has made it clear, you're making my problems worse, will you leave me a bloody loan? And they are just making footage after footage after footage. And it's now, oh, the, the Hampstead Chronicles part one. Part two, watch this, they're going to court, they've been charged with witness intimidation, but they're being harassed by the police. You shouldn't be spreading footage like that on the internet. You've been told to keep away, you've not whistle blown on anything, and some of you people, you jump me when I come out of prison. 
Belinda McKenzie. She can go far, far, I'm just going to break the stream now because we're going to start on our march to the prison. Turned up in Nottingham and she goes, hello, I'm Belinda McKenzie. I says, and I was talking, I was with my friend, and I need to talk to you. And they tried to hijack the, the Beechwood thing to try and create some sort of, I don't know, they, they, they think they're, they're idiots that have just got a laptop or a ca camera. They jump on any anybody that is vulnerable because they don't go to the, you don't trust the authorities and and they 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 act like the guardian angels and professionals and you know they've got all these contacts and all these police officers that give them their sources all their information and you know and this that and the other and they're just a bunch of idiots they're not credible people they they've not got contact or anything they like filming themselves putting it out and and now they're trying to turn the answer to what their children said which shouldn't have been put on the internet the anomalies are clear document a as published here and all other associated documents irrefutably exposes all of the evidence supporting a lawful suspicion that all the recorded or that all the reported crimes have very probably occurred Though EU child protection protocols are not fully implemented in Britain, nonetheless, they provide a guide and example to all EU nations committed to protecting children and preventing crimes against them. The UK public are therefore most alarmed to discover that children in this case have indisputably received what amounts to an abomination of those directives. They're trying to turn it so it all is about them now. Because the Amsterdam case, it got publicity when the kids threw them on putting that footage out. They're trying to latch on to that to get some sort of profile on the internet. But they, they're just idiots, you know? I, I, I had to get rid of it. I, I, I had them like leeches around me, you know? The Beechwood story, the Nottingham, what went off there, it's, it's about the victims. It's not about wannabe idiots claiming that they're, I don't know, journalists or whatever, or I don't know what they are. They, they, you know, the victims went to the police, went to the lawyers, did what they did together, the survivors of that abuse, and it, you know, this, it's still under investigation. There's, there's people on bail, there'll be more charges. The Amsterdam case, if the children were abused, you know, it's about the children. The mother, she, she fled the country. She Here's the list of police actions and other and child rights afforded to witnesses reporting child abuse as defined by the EU Child Protection Directives. Those are juxtaposed by what UK police and local authorities actually did in total ignorance of EU CPDs. 1. Child witnesses are entitled, are entitled to an independent legal guardian to ensure the child's human and legal rights are respected. The children received no such independent legal assistance. 2. Children's testimonies are believed as honest until thorough investigations prove otherwise. Honours of proof of innocence is on the accused. Suspects' claims of innocence are an allegation of perjury against child witness victims. The children were just liars from the offset and suspects benefiting from the supp from supposition that they are innocent. Suspects are judged completely innocent without ever being arrested and investigated. 
Suspects' claims of innocence are supposed as honest. 3. Confirming medical evidence equates to solid evidence and cannot be disputed until point of trial. Police decided the confirming medical evidence found via damages to both child witness victims was false and proposed an unprofessional alternative explanation for deep anal scarring, RAD and PTSD on the same day of receiving medical confirmation, as is evidence in their Chris reports. 4. Children and their supportive parents or guard or guardians are provided protection in cases where the accused pose a severe threat. Children and mom at evidence risk from alleged socially powerful organized child abusers and murderers were given an alarm box by police. Children were soon after handed into care of authorities where many of the accused are employed. He's not come back, you know, it's, it's like everybody's there. Uh... Everybody's an insider. Everybody's undercover working for the police. No, it you know, it, it, it's not like that. Oh, there are some good people around, professional people. Rich Allen, UK Colum, Luke Collins. Broadcasting well, um, the information the mainstream when, media when won't touch. Um, this is the Richie he, Allen Show in association with um, DavidIke.com. Um, he, 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 he actually made the connection. And um, what I will say is, is um, um, he's placed himself in a position um, where, to be honest with you, no Now her partner is a man called Martin Smith. And to start the process of getting her children, he was labelled as being a paedophile. In fact, he's been convicted of being a paedophile in Manchester Crown Court. And he's now serving time for being a paedophile. I don't think he was a paedophile. In fact, he's been convicted of being a paedophile in Manchester Crown Court. And he's now serving time for being a paedophile. I don't think he was a paedophile. No matter what anybody says to me, and that includes yourself, I cannot be convinced that Brian Gerrish is, is, is operating with anything but an ulterior motive. Um, because I've seen too much, and I've seen a pattern of his behaviour. Now, um, it, it, the only way that I can reverse that position, in my mind, is, is if the man um, addresses the points and totally reverses his position, and um, renounces um, any... Uh, connection to um, the club I'll just call it the club now um, and and if you speak to him he'll know exactly what um, um, you are saying even though it might not mean anything to you at this stage and that's all I'll say on that but um, the, well, the can I just clap do, do you mean the con club the what, what sorry club? what club well this this is the thing there's there's an actual physical place uh, that is a club and rituals go on there um, because I've been there when the rituals have been going on there and um, in, in, in where? in the club it, it, Brian knows Brian knows what in Leeds? no 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 no. He, Brian knows uh, it, he, you know just tell just tell him you know that he, it's the club that his London team operate because that's how he told me he told me it was his London team Right. You see, this is where it gets interesting now, doesn't it? Because I, honestly, Roger, you you have been you've been self, man. Honestly, you you are, and and you need. Uh, uh, okay, um, I mean, I, I I would I would suggest that if there's information that you're um, you're imparting here that that is true, and and it turns out to be not what I I I think it is, then um, fine, and that that's the way of the world. Freedom Radio. You know, there, 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 there are credible, there is credible people do really hard work that are professional, and I'm, I'm just sick of these wannabe idiots jumping on vulnerable people to get themselves attention on the internet, and then because of their behaviour, they get arrested, and then they try and twist the story into we're whistleblowers, we're being persecuted for whistleblowing. Well, what are you whistleblowing on? What have you suffered? and put into the public domain that is new. Absolutely nothing.
You just love seeing your own faces. You know, and I, I you know, and I will say what I think I'm entitled to because I, I'm getting messages through Messenger from these people. How can you say that? They just love, they love their own voices and I'm sick of it. Leave the victims alone. Leave the victims alone. You know, I'm not really bothered about them. I'm just sick of these people, these particular people that are making it all about them now. And they're idiots. You know, and they cause more more problem. There are people there that, that, that do look after the victims that aren't employed by the authorities because victims have been failed by them. There are very good people out there to offer support who are sensible, ex-professional careers, good people, you know, that have got a credibility and good reputation behind them. But the people like Sabine, McNeil, Belinda McKenzie and Angela Power Disney you know they just chat total shit they film themselves for half an hour and I've never seen anything like it but I just advise you I wouldn't listen to a word that comes out their fucking mouth because it's total bullshit you know and then it's oh make donations so we can you know we're skin we've lost everything for doing this make donations it's begging opportunities they don't do any work they harass victims they love the attention and they, and they think because there's people that feel members of the public feel that the authorities aren't tackling this child abuse issue that they, if they come across some people like them, they think, all oh, these people are doing something good, I'll, I'll try and help them, because the population hates paedophilia, but they're not actually doing anything. Five, children require aid of an expert therapist while enduring the trauma of reporting abuse to police and interviews need to be performed in a manner that does not cause further harm to the child. The children received no therapy whatsoever. Police interview techniques were unprofessional, with interviewing officer exhibiting blatant disbelief and leaving one child alone in a room until he broke, he broke down in tears. A child who had testified he is a victim of extensive long-term abuse during which he was forced to kill babies. 6. Prompt investigations ensue toward assuring safety and welfare of any other identified child victims. Though children has cited 18 other named and known special children as suffering and witnessing same crimes. London police and authorities fail to investigate any of those other children. 7. In all cases citing crimes against children, stringent steps are taken to ensure suspects are not forewarned. Police were informing suspects on the same night children delivered their first crime reports to police, as is evident in the police recordings. According to police Chris reports, suspects were invited to a strategy meeting to discuss children's crime reports and were asked to permit search of their school and church premises five days later. The prime suspects was contacted through a third party and was fully informed of every detail of his children's crime reports. He arrived for his voluntary police interview 10 days after police received the children's crime reports. He was questioned only about one incident of historical abuse against his son and medical, and medical evidence was never mentioned. 8. Suspects are promptly arrested, phones, laptops, computers seized and homes searched. Police fail to arrest a single suspect and question only one in an interview he free to end at any time. No homes were searched, no property seized for investigation. 9. 
Crime scenes are promptly visited and sealed for forensic analysis. CCTV footage is examined. Not one crime scene was forensically investigated. Three crime scenes were searched many days after suspects were forewarned. A visit to one of those crime scenes focused entirely on disproving a single detail from Charles' statement, a detail that was itself invited and coerced, and coerced by police. CCTV footage from around the school was not examined, despite children stating they and other special children were taken out of school on Wednesdays to other locations for child prostitution. 10. In cases citing use of illegal and or medical drugs, children or suspects are immediately tested using hair, blood and or urine samples. Despite children giving detailed accounts of medical and illegal drugs they were forced to consume and or injected with, only the children's hair sample were sent for drug tests and the results allegedly when missing. More samples were taken after the case was closed, while children were in care. After being months away from home, and purely in an effort to incriminate the parent who had facilitated the disclosures. Not a single suspect was tested for drugs. You know, they're not doing anything at all. And if you got, resp you know, they're, they, they're not for one moment bothered about those children. It's about the children, whoever has abused them, whether it was in the family, at the school, or whatever, ever. Is it to put out all this, this keep shoving out personal information, put it, keep reposting footage of those poor children is wrong? Eleven. In cases citing making of child pornography, videos and or citing sale of criminal artifacts, prompt investigations commence into the suspect's online activity and finances. Police fail to investigate any of the suspect's online activity or finances. And even in face of a prime suspect's own admission, that he is learning from the online porn industry and had, despite being de dependent on state benefits, managed to travel abroad to Asia and America and finance his stay in those countries for a period of two years. Children's, ch children had cited details implying, implying making videos, child pornography, sale of human skin and bones. 12. Cases citing child trafficking instigate referral to specialized police units and or, pro or prompt investigations into suspects' connections abroad, most especially into their connections with women and children's charities. Police fail to refer the case to London Child's Trafficking Unit and they failed to notice the publicly available online evidence that proved conclusively many suspects have direct connections to women and children's charities and orphanages in Africa, Haiti and Asia. Many of the suspects had repeatedly traveled to those nations where children are most at risk. 13. Retractions are not enough to close a case, and most especially when other evidence negates the validity of the retractions. Child testimony is not a prerequisite for investigating lawful suspicion. Any retractions can be received as a further crime report. The children's retractions close the case in spite of confirming medical evidence provided by two experts and despite the fact that compared to original crime reports the retractions are only partial, non-matching, of exceptionally poor quality and are clearly coerced by police.
though the retractions implicated other parties as responsible for abuse. None of those other parties were arrested and investigated. And I'm sick of it. Because I'm, I'm a strong character, so I will say it. Because there's a lot of other people, they're just trancing them. They, they, they're wrecking their lives even more. Leave victims, adult survivors of child abuse, alone. They don't want your help. Angela Power Disney, Sabine McNeil, Belinda McKenzie, you three idiots aren't helping anybody. You just go on and on and on. And the way you talk, it seems a bit dodgy because you're becoming obsessed with it and it's as if you're promoting it all the time. Let's, let's play a child porn video one day. Let's play it, and I know it sounds appalling, but let's see the reality of what these young children have to go through. Let's see the physical injuries that they endure, the fear in their eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and that's not even going near the satanic stuff. Let's, let's play a child porn video one day. Let's play it. I mean, don't forget, we had got people like Jimmy Savile working with children in need and all that sort of shit, promoting things for children. But all, the, all along, he was bloody abusing the children. You know? And not everybody, not everybody are who they appear to be. We have got paedophiles involved with the alternative media. On. And it is as we've always thought that world politics, the national media the, and the alternative media to a degree is being controlled by paedophilia versus blackmail. Jesus. And Bill, what do, just closing, what do you, I, I'll phone you straight after the show in about 20 minutes. You know, and perhaps like them, they ruin the credibility let's, of Tom Maloney, a child porn video Luke one day. Let's Robert play it, and I know it sounds appalling. Brian Gerrish. He's now serving time for being a people. Richie Allen. I don't people think that is Broadcasting the information that mainstream media won't touch. This is the Richie Allen Show, in association with DavidAdam.com. He's now serving time for being a people. Let's I don't think he was a paedophile. But leave the victims alone. I believe alone. that he was stitched up we in don't order need to steal we these two children in and stop order. Stop trying to make an image for yourself off the back of our suffering. You're not whistleblowers. So stop. You, 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 you putting that word to your name taints the word whistleblower. Get that bone off. Uh, there's a bit more beef on the bone than normal. So we'll get that bone off, and we're going to cycle, get that bone off, from um, beach home, or, or the site of the old beach home, get that bone off, all the way to the site of the Quarrius uh, Kids Home, which is in um, the Rosses, 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 which is uh, in Glasgow. And on the way, the Rosses, the Rosses, the Rosses, we're going to make intermittent stops. And we're going to be stopping the Feds. Um, restored into the mainstream of the new community. I'd like to see a kind of amnesty for everybody who's been up to these practices and who's been rehabilitated, re restored into the mainstream of the community. Uh, 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 I'm going to have a site that I've been saying to me to abuse them and just not abuse them. We haven't actually. What she said this morning, and surgeons at hospital okay. that, that yeah, yeah. speak out against senior management and lose their jobs for doing that. They're a whistleblower. Carol Woods, the senior social worker that's spoken out, the brave lady, she's a whistleblower. You know, I'm no special than any other Beechwood victim. 14. All citizens have a lawful duty to report lawful suspicion citing risks to children and reports are not limited only to regular competent authorities. In event of regular authorities' failure to respond, citizens can utilize their human rights of freedom of speech and expression to issue a public alert. 
child protection directives fully uphold all human and child rights. In face of regular authorities' criminal negligence, ignorance and suspected complicity in organized crimes against children, members of the public expressing concern and sharing evidence have suffered repeated police harassment, home searches, seizure of property, gagging orders, terms of imprisonment and Crown Court prosecutions. Citizens and children's human rights are completely ignored and people are judged guilty of, harass of harassment and intimidation for utilizing their rights to ask questions and or expose lawful suspicion on behalf of assuring child welfare. 15. A, child, a child's rights to privacy are superseded by their rights to safety and protection. First and foremost, child protection directives are designed to protect children and prevent crimes against them. British authorities place highest value on a child's right to privacy, even when there is a lawful suspicion to support the premise that privacy is providing secrecy for abuse. Instead of protecting children and preventing crimes against them, UK police, social services and family courts have conspired to employ privacy rules for purpose of, the, of protecting identity of suspects, gagging the media and preventing investigations and arrests. Details citing evidence to confirm all of the above are presented via the case submission document A. There is plenty of evidence to support what police and authorities could and ought to have done toward protecting children and preventing crimes against them. To date, police have provided no evidence other than, other than, and than the shoddy, only partial, contradictory and clearly led retractions. To support police and local authorities' reasons for their complete failures. If indeed police claims that children had lied and their crime reports are false, are to be accepted as fact, then where is the evidence to support that alleged fact? Just as there were no adequate investigations into original crime reports, neither were there any investigations into the later highly suspect retractions. The true facts expose a hefty weight of evidence in support of the children's allegations. And therefore, on balance of law, all of our suspicion, suspicions are lawfully valid. This case reflects the tip of an iceberg in relation to the immense scale of organized child sexual abuse in Britain. And through exposure of the mechanisms by which the whole issue is buried under a weight of police, media and local authorities' ignorance. We are now left with no choice except to pursue international legal remedy and private prosecutions against negligent and or suspect professionals. We sincerely hope our proposed legal actions will deliver prompt attention toward helping all children referred to in this case and will serve to directly challenge present UK protocols on investigating organized child abuse, child trafficking and murder of trafficked children. Keir Starmer's credibility clause needs to be scrapped. We thank you for your courage and for sharing this terrible burden of lawful suspicion. Where we each a single drop, we are each a single raindrop, and together we are storm. Or any help that you can give toward a, towards achieving the justice for abused and trafficked children. It's time, human, it's time humanity puts an end to this industry. The feast on children is over. But I had to fight the police for three years. 
and go out and find the graves of dead social workers they claim they'd interviewed in different places in the country and, f and get, uh, um, you know, and say, how, how can you say you've interviewed this person? They died two years before, you know, I, ma I made the statement and here's a picture of the grave, you know. That's whistleblower when you've got to fight and fight and fight and give up everything. These are just bloody prats. Keep away from us, all of us. The Beechwood victims stand united. The Wales victims, Brunest and Brun Allen, stand united. If we need help or need support from mainstream or alternative, we, we know where to look to get that support. You stalk people. Stop stalking victims of abuse for your own personal gain. You're pathetic. That's all I've got to say.